Hey there YouTube, Ape Ape Gumba back, and I, I lied. Um, this didn't take me nearly as long because I had a lot less here than what's in my storage shed. Uh, those are just some swords on a little thing. There's one sword missing. It's been around forever. I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, that's not the point. Um, I also, I forgot to mention I have a Nintendo Wii in the other room, obviously, from all the Wii games. And uh, I also lied again. The Nintendo spilled out on this second table a little bit, but, you know, nevertheless, here we go. First and foremost, I got my uh, Big Game Hunter box set and my Mario Dance Dance Revolution dance kit, which is a uh, love that graphic. It's just awesome to see Mario busted down like that. <laughs> um, on this table, I also have a Sega Game Gear with Sonic the Hedgehog 1 in it. I have a uh, Nintendo cleaner there. Back there is the Beefus Butthead uh, strategy guide and game I found a little while ago. Right here, I've got some Sega Classics and some, uh, uh that's the, f the, uh, what is that, Sword of Vermilion and Fantasy Star 2. That's the, uh, Sega Model 1 with the, uh, the high definition, what does it say, high definition graphics stamped on it. On the bottom is the non working Sega CD I need to work on. This is the only Sega Master System thing I have. Just some random stuff I have sitting here. Marksman shooting, trap shooting. It's a complete in box. A plug and play TV, EA Sports. There's one of my Sega Dreamcasts I recently got. Awesome, awesome. There's the uh, Pressman Nintendo Speedboard. Basically makes your uh, controller into a button masher. It's uh, kind of rare, but it's, you know, they're a dime a dozen. They're not expensive, but it's, it's a unique piece. I think I've shown it in a video of mine before. Back there's my PS2. I've got like seven memory cards, but they're not all here. Uh, back there's that Valkyrie Profile 2, which I still not had time to play. Back there's the uh, original uh, network adapter. Also have the multi tap. I got a that pink clean kit. Awesome pink. And I got a few random PlayStation games sitting here. Um, Soul Divine, which is, I kept these out purposely because I'm going to play them again. If you've never played uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, it's a must-own, must-play game. Uh, I haven't played it in a really long time. Unfortunately, the disc is missing, but I have two or three copies of my storage shed of it. So, uh, I'll be expecting to play that soon. This game is kind of hard to find, I think. It's a little bit pricey. I'm, I'm thinking around 15 bucks or so. It's a uh, Legend of Mana. It's, a uh, if you've ever played Secret of Mana for the Super Nintendo, this is a, uh, Black Label, obviously. Quite different RPG. It's uh, basically Secret of Mana gameplay, but you uh, better graphics and you actually plant these seeds and you like make your own towns and go into it. And It's pretty cool. Pretty cool game. I can't believe it survived. Monster Rancher for PlayStation. Another great classic game. It's kind of like Pokemon, but old school. And you put CDs into your, your system. You actually create monsters from CDs if you want. You can get them, you know, just like through the game, but um, using unique, certain unique CDs, I think like there's a Guns N' Roses or Metallica CD you can use, you get crazy monsters with uh, awesome abilities, so the Monster Rancher series is always good. I prefer part one and two, I wouldn't go over two, I think they get a little uh, too, too uh, kiddish like. And last but not least, this is the one Dreamcast game I almost put in trade video. I'm glad I didn't because I finally have a drink cast to play it again. And uh, it's it's pretty, I think it's kind of rare. It's kind of hard to find, especially in great shape. Obviously, I don't have the back cover it, but oh yeah. Star Wars Jedi Power Battles for Dreamcast. Awesome, awesome game. If you've never played this game, look at that cover. Nice. If you've never played this game and you own a Dreamcast, you you have to get this game. It's It's very amazing. They made it for PlayStation. I play the one on PlayStation, and the difficulty, I think, on the PlayStation is outrageous. This one's just right. A lot of fun. Great graphics. And you can definitely expect a gameplay of that review. So, uh, there you have it. That's my, uh, you know, little uh, extra table there full of stuff to complete my uh, little tour. And just in case you haven't watched the first video yet, there's the Nintendo section of it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh... I mentioned, somebody mentioned I, their collection was similar to mine, and I said, I mentioned that uh, tomorrow 
there is a 50 plus house subdivision sale the next town over so yeah that should be pretty freaking sweet hopefully I can find some great stuff and get some good pickup video uh, footage but until next time guys once again thanks for watching and uh, this will be a big Goomba out